Hi, I'm Bob Rubart with the Oracle Technology Network, and my guests this morning are Vladimir Ajvaz and Anil Pasi, co-authors along with Daval Mehta of the Oracle Fusion Applications Development and Extensibility Handbook, available from Oracle Press. Gentlemen, how are you this afternoon? Very good. Thank you for inviting, uh, inviting us, Bob. Oh, no problem, no problem. Thank you for uh, taking time out of what I'm sure are very busy days. So, uh, a sample chapter from your book is available on OTN. That chapter focuses on integration with Fusion applications. I believe it's chapter 15 from the book. What will readers find in that chapter? Vlad? Okay, Bob. Um, primarily the uh, chapter 15, uh, which is about integration with Fusion applications, uh, talks um, provides a gentle introduction. Of what are the uh, patterns of integration with, with Fusion uh, applications? And uh, continuing on, um, it talks about uh, uh, the importance of uh, Oracle Enterprise Repository. It provi provides introduction to Oracle Enterprise um, Repository, or OER. Uh, and then uh, talks about uh, uh, what different type of assets actually are documented within OER, and uh, um, chapter goes on to describe uh, in detail uh, what integration patterns in terms of inbound and outbound uh, integrations with Oracle Fusion applications are actually available. Uh, what are the good practices? Um, to actually integrate uh, inbound and outbound services with Oracle applications, and then goes on to actually provide a hands-on example how to implement uh, a sample uh, inbound and outbound uh, uh, integration with a uh, scenario with uh, Fusion applications. So it's a quite comprehensive chapter, which is which, uh, uh, which covers uh, most of the. Uh, important in integration patterns with Oracle Fusion applications, including uh, some relatively uh, uh, unknown and uh, and and uh, not so very well covered uh, uh, topics, such as uh, uh, bulk import and uh, bulk export uh, from and to uh, uh, Fusion applications. And Neil, what did Vladimir forget? <laughs> He didn't forget anything at all. I think he was spot on. Um, yeah, the, the, the chapter, uh, chapter really gives the consultants who are going to be working on Fusion applications uh, everything they need to do, to do their job, actually, um, so that uh, they don't have to spend a lot of time doing the research on how to do the integrations in Fusion applications. This chapter gives them the best practices blueprint with the examples that, hey, this is this is how you can, and this is how uh, it has been done for a sample scenario that is demonstrated in the chapter. So it just gives a jump start to the consultant, which is great. Now, this sample chapter is extensive. It's uh, 54 pages, I believe. So what is the single most important takeaway that readers will get from this chapter? Anil? <clears throat> the, single, uh, the single thing which... Uh, they get out of the chapter, which is the most important thing. Uh, well, they get a lot of things out of the chapter, but the most single most important thing they get out of the chapter is, is as I said, the jump start. They can just get started with a job. I'll give you a simple example. For example, okay. if you go to a if you go to a project implementation project for Fusion applications, you might be implementing Fusion HRMS, where you might be recording the people who join the organizations or leave the organization. So if there's a requirement where a consultant goes and walks into a job and he's given a task that whenever a person joins an organization, uh, they want their security system login credentials to be created so that they can enter the building. They want uh, the organization has a requirement so that the person gets a card for the canteen and they get a membership for the gym. Uh, so when a person joins an organization, you might want to integrate with these three different systems, uh, uh, gym uh, being one, canteen system being another one, and the security uh, card system being another one. Uh, this chapter will give you a guideline as to how you can implement this kind of a use case. Uh, so that when a person joins, a business event is raised, how you can subscribe uh, to that business event and drive that whole process through a SOA composite, and you can write web service integrations uh, to these different systems using a single process. Uh, you can manage uh, all the three requirements. 
when a person joins. And likewise, if the person leaves the organization, you might want uh, to do something reverse of the same thing. You might want to disable their security card. You might want to disable their canteen card and the gym membership. So uh, the integration with these different kind of systems can be implemented uh, using uh, the the examples that are given in this uh, in this chapter. All right, all right. Um, I ask this question of every author I interview, uh, and and we'll start with you, Vlad. What did you know? Uh, what do you know now that you didn't know when you started writing this book? What did you learn in the process? Well, quite a lot, Bob. I must admit, it's, it was a quite challenging experience because fusion applications uh, applications cover enormous number of business processes that we actually had to learn about in order to actually even get started with this book because it just covers so much in terms of business functionality that we actually had to delve delve into in order to be able to. Uh, translate the uh, business requirements into the uh, technical uh, from, from, from uh, to explain business requirements from technical perspective and uh, so yeah, yeah that, that was the kind of like a uh, for me because I've got experience in fusion middleway um, from technology standpoint uh, of view but uh, but uh, uh, fusion applications it's quite quite um, uh, big product. Uh, it covers a lot of business processes, so that was the kind of like a big thing for me to learn all of these things uh, uh, in a re relatively short period of time. Anil, what about you? What did you learn in the process of writing this book? Well, I think one of the um, most important things uh, which I picked up is uh, it was a wow factor as to Oracle. We, we all know that Oracle have been doing all these acquisitions uh, for the last so many years. And uh, a lot of these equations made uh, a lot of sense from individual equation perspective. But this, when we did started the research work on this book, and when we started digging deep into fusion applications, we realized how nicely Oracle has actually uh, managed to uh, pick up the cherry pick the best pieces from all these acquisitions and bundle them together into a single product called fusion applications so this was a great learning exercise as to how oracle actually merged these different technologies streamlined them into fusion middleware baseline and uh, how Oracle cherry-picked all the business processes, as Vlad said, there are a lot of business processes which Fusion covers. How Oracle has actually picked up the best of breed business process across these systems and innovated that even further and put that all together into a single application. All right. Well, gentlemen, thanks so much for taking time this morning. My guests have been Vladimir Ajvaz and Anil Pasi, co-authors, along with Dov Almeta, of the Oracle Fusion Applications Development and Extensibility Handbook. That's available from Oracle Press. A sample chapter from that book is available now on OTN, so put on your reading glasses. Gentlemen, thanks. Thank you, Bob. Thank you.